So it is midnight, actually closer to 1 a.m. here in Tokyo, and Tokyo Tower literally just turned off as I got here. But today, we're exploring the back streets around the area of Tokyo Tower. here because this is one of my favorite little alley views of Tokyo Tower. Look at that view. It's obviously much nicer when the tower is lit up, but I guess we work with the hand we've been dealt. In fact, this entire area around the tower is just chock full of little back streets like this with amazing views of the tower. Probably more than we can do in a single night, but let's head this way. One of my favorite things about this area is the amount of greenery and little hidden parks and paths and seating areas that are dispersed all through. In fact, you know what, let's, let's head up this stair right here. park that's down here has always been one of my favorite. I've been living in the area for almost two years now and it's been closed pretty much since I moved in. So let's swing through before we hit some more of the back streets. Like how cool is that little pathway into here? Oh, I love this space so much. Those guys back there decided to come into the park with a Domino's pizza and just kick back and relax and figured I'd just give them their space. We're gonna head out this way and explore some more of the area. Good news, maybe, I don't know, let, let's call it good news. I no sooner crossed the road than Tokyo Tower lit up, but for some reason in, in Christmas colors and weirder yet, just the tip of the tower is orange. Why, why is it? <laughs> I can actually see Tokyo Tower from both the balcony of my apartment and my office and it's never really consistent at night. Sometimes just the bottom half is lit up, sometimes literally just if you look online apparently there is a schedule for it but it still doesn't like why? Why is just the tip orange? It, just, it looks weird. It just it's strange. <laughs> The cherry blossoms are starting to open up. It has been a really warm week here in Tokyo. In fact, we're just like a week away from full blossom. That is right, cherry blossom season is a week away. A week. But don't worry, I'll be bringing you along. Like, it's dark, but there's one tree right here. Actually, most of the trees in here are blossoming quite nicely. And Tokyo Tower is being a little bit weird right now. So this area here is Zoujoji Temple, which usually has one of the most beautiful views of Tokyo Tower that you can get. And now suddenly it's pink, but right now it's under construction, so. All right, so this here is Shiba Koen or Shiba Park. And why is it Christmas again? What, what is going on with this tower today? Anyway, especially on weekends, this park tends to get really packed. But this area right here leads to what it's not a secret, but what seems to be a secret park up there. And I say it's a secret park because for some reason, nobody ever goes up there. And this seems to be gated right now. There's a pathway over there. Let's see if it goes. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it's totally open. This for some reason is just gated and closed. So you can't walk through it at night. I have literally never noticed that. All right. So this area up here, I don't know what it is about this space. It can be incredibly crowded down there and there'll still just be nobody up here. Wow. It's dark. Like you can see Zozoji Temple over there. And then, wow, I am. Admittedly, this is probably my first time coming up here at night. So <laughs> I am slightly taken aback by how dark it is. Mm -hmm. 
again just to reiterate not a secret park it's it's just shiba koen but for some reason so few people come up those stairs so if you're looking for a peaceful park to hang out in this is the place Also, that is how late it is. There are only that many people awake. It is 2.12 in the morning. Which is one of the reasons we didn't go straight into the back streets because a lot of the area around here is either residential or like this, a lot of greenery, which is why I've slightly fallen in love with living here but just out this way leads to one of the bigger business areas tamachi which actually has some pretty cool back streets so let's go check it out just something nice about a 100 yen vending machine. So most of the area around here is gonna be primarily business with a tiny bit of residential. And when people ask me, well, when you're exploring, how do you know where it's okay to explore and where not to explore? My rule of thumb has always been it's okay to go down the back streets and the narrow streets and all of that, but don't cross barriers, be respectful. And the narrower the street you get into, generally the quieter you should be. Also, common sense, just don't touch stuff. And one of the other things that I really love about this area is the number of these little tiny hidden shrines you'll find spread throughout the area. And this phone booth, because phone booths are increasingly rare in Japan. Hi phone booth. It is just about three o'clock in the morning now. I've spent the last half hour trying to find a decent vantage point to capture Tokyo Tower from. <sighs> Finally found a good rooftop. And <laughs> of course it, it shuts off just as I get up there. Literally just missed it. But one of my favorite hidden backstreet shrines is just up around the corner. So we're gonna go take a peek. And I weirdly love this. CO2, zero action. We, I think we all get what they're going for, but they missed the mark just a little bit on the English. You don't find nearly as much messed up English nowadays, unless it's on clothing. You'll always find it on clothing. I kind of miss it. It's always been kind of a, a part of the experience, but there's the, there's the shrine too. And while the shrine is cool, there's something over here I want to show you. So you can vaguely see Tokyo Tower back there, but this little building right here, this is an embassy. This is the embassy of Kyrgyz. I hope I'm saying that right. I love it. And I make a point of swinging by this shrine every single time I pass by it. Don't know why, just love this little shrine. <laughs> here it looks like they're getting set up for a festival it's easy to see why I love this little shrine right it's so simple but <sighs> there's still just so much more around the area of Tokyo Tower to show though we, we haven't even scratched the surface who knows maybe next time the tower will actually be lit up mm -hmm. 